and we're live hey guys thank you for joining me um i missed most of the day because i was well my uh my days have been turned upside down it's like um day becomes night night becomes day so i've been working through the night gaming and i'm um, trying to keep keep on top of my workload last week uh this past week i just took it off um because i was just getting overwhelmed with too much work and of course i know that happens to me constantly because I'm very work oriented and task oriented. So I tend to be a bit more, um, you know, proactive when it comes to work, but I, um, I can easily get sidelined if I get overwhelmed with stuff. And so, um, you know, and critical took a break this week because of that. And I apologize for that for you guys for who've been following the critical comic book. It'll be out this week. Uh, it was actually almost finished, but I just, uh, couldn't get can get my mind around to finishing it because I was overwhelmed with these block bots. Now, um, one of my um, posts earlier on, like just before the lockdown got blocked and got taken off, and so nobody got to see it. It had to do with me calling out a um, an Indian gentleman who just got off the plane and we're just about to uh, go into lockdown. And the guy was basically saying on live, on TV, being interviewed, saying, well, I don't really care about this lockdown that you guys got in New Zealand. I'm just going to do whatever I want. And, you know, I don't really care if, you know, whatever. I'll just go around. And that got blocked. And so what I didn't realize was that once that got blocked, that I would have other blocks happening as well. And because I wasn't paying attention to my posts being blocked, because, I mean, I'm just constantly busy with so many projects going on, as well as doing the live stream and stuff. And next thing I know, uh, my live stream is getting blocked. I'm going, well, there's only reason I could be because of the music I put on, and that's fine. Take that away. That's cool because I knew that, that would happen because of copyright music and so on. And I understand that because I deal with copyright all the time, and we've noticed that have people stealing other people's work and calling it their own and selling it on behalf. And that happened locally this week with one of our amazing uh, Maori artists, um, um, well, uh, local tattoo artists as well as artists who I actually went to school with uh, at Polytech and actually lived with for quite a period of time early in my um, study as he was in the Murray um, Arts Department and I was in the creative, um, I think uh, it was, um, yeah, I was doing the sculpture and uh, applied arts basically, you know. And so, um, you know, I've been getting, um, hearing a lot of this happening constantly where people have been getting their art stolen. So I've got a um, on that note, I've got a um, person, a, a law person who deals with copyright, who I'll be talking to this week coming up on a live stream. Now that my live stream's back, I'm so excited to have, be able to do that. Now, let's talk about this block bot thing, right? So once you get somebody um, says that, you know, you have some sort of like a racist comment or something. I mean, how do you call, how do you, you as an Indian call out another Indian and that becomes a racist thing? It's just weird because it was just reporting on the news that was happening and I just made a comment about it. So one of my good friends, all right, uh, acquaintances, good friends, a uh, person I know face to face, um, so I know who they are. Basically, when I remarked about that on Facebook, that a lot more of my blo um, posts were getting blocked. She said, hey, uh, I think you're being targeted. And I was like, well, why would I be targeted? I mean, I try to not be a tinfoil head kind of guy. I don't deal with conspiracy theories. I just talk what you know because i um as a i think of myself as a journalist because i've been working in radio for a while i've been working um in commentary on opinion based things for a while uh, i've been interviewing people from all across new zealand all across the world uh so i you know to be able to do that you have to have a level-headed think process about that and you don't you know you i get anybody on my stream to come and talk to me because I don't mind who I talk to because I think the more I learn from people, the better it is for me. And you can never learn enough. And there's, and I always think of myself as someone who needs to learn. Uh, I don't know everything, and I surround myself with people who are very smart, uh, very people who are way, 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 way advanced in learning than I am. And I appreciate them. And some of them, I think of them as mentors and stuff. And the good thing about that is that when you uh, make friends with people, they make they bring friends to you, and they understand what you do. And they understand your heart. And that's the most important thing to me is not understand my mind, but understand where I'm coming from. And so to have to be blocked uh, on and not be able to be able to sh interview people and live because I love live interviews because you get to face to face. You get to ask people questions face to face. They get to see your reaction and feel your emotion. And then even when you're doing that, you find yourself. I think I need to ask that question 
a bit more delve that into a bit more. But here's what I want to tell you about the Blockbot thing, uh, since this is what we're talking about. Now, this is what you do to go to um, to um, stop these Blockbots. If you have them on your post, if somebody's blocking, if Facebook is blocking your post, uh, what happens is other people start going, oh, I'll get, I'll make some money off by blocking more posts of his. And, you know, it's like their job almost, uh, their social media job, where do they just sit there and block people? And of course, there's a lot of people that do that on Facebook, and Facebook itself does that constantly, daily, every second, every minute, every hour of the day, where they block people's posts because they think it's fake news or if it's just contrary to somebody else's opinion and because they might think it's harmful. I don't understand the whole idea that an opinion can be harmful. That doesn't really, I don't really understand that. That goes against everything in my being to say, well, an idea is not harmful. Um, if it's nothing to do with violence and stuff. And, you know, I have all violence. I'm a libertarian, which means I, I will speak to anyone from any um, socioeconomic, socio uh, political, whatever, because I think um, the more I learn is better. And the more you talk to people, the more you learn. And, uh, and live streaming is the best way to do that, to get to understand people. So um, here's what you do. You go to your Facebook settings, and this is sent by one of my friends. Then go to blocking, all right? So go to Facebook. Um, settings, go to blocking, then type in fact check. All right, so that's fact check or fact checker. Then block every single one of them. Right, and um, and you'll find that there's like hundred, might be for depending where you you know how much posts you make and what your opinions are, you might find that you've got heaps of people on on the list. And the other thing I did was I went back and um, did that check blocker. And all that sort of things. Just used any of those two variations of those words: uh, fact block, fact check, uh, fact checks, all that. And I found there were 60 people that had been like, uh, or groups that were blocking my posts. And that's what I ended up with having not being able to post and um, or not being able to do live stream because of that. They just basically sat on there and just said, "This guy isn't what we want on social media." And I'm like, that's a pretty strange thing to think about. Uh, and I think everybody is allowed to have an opinion, right? Uh, opinions don't harm people. It's the actions of those opinions, or if there's any sort of, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. So if you if you say anything, doesn't really matter. But if you if you uh, make, uh, you know, if you tell people to say something to do something violent or something like that, yeah, that's that's not on. So that's what you do. You go to uh, you go to your. Um, let me get back on. Oh, screen's closed. Uh, you go to Facebook settings, then go to blocking, then type in fact check or fact checker then block them all, all right? So, the, and mostly you realize that these are bots. They're not, they're not, some of them are bots, some of them are people, but mostly they're just bots. So they randomly just block anything. They just search words that are in, in your thing. And even if you write something like POS, like I got blocked for saying POS uh, on, um, in regards to another Indian person who didn't have a care for what were, you know, about lockdown um, strategies in New Zealand in the first, a um, couple of weeks. So yeah, so that's what you do. You go to uh, settings, then go to blocking, then type in fact check or fact checker and the variance of those words. So that will help you get rid of people blocking your page, all right, or blocking you from actually having say on your own personal thing. This is what I found really hard was that it was on my own private uh, family, private friends group because I am um, a I think about 2018, I actually went across and got rid of 200 people, two to 300 people that I didn't actually personally know uh, and just said, you know, okay, I'm just going to get rid of you guys because I don't really know you personally. And the same thing I do now is like, if I don't know people personally or through friends, I won't allow them to come onto my personal page. And um, because I don't think that's the right way to go. But, but for trade, you know, for comic trade page, anybody's welcome. One of the other things I noticed was when I was live streaming the other day with um, Maggie, some person came in with a racist um, name and started doing racist uh, comments, and I had to block them straight away. And uh, you might have seen a reaction uh, either from me or from uh, Maggie at that time because she saw the um, she saw the um, the comment section, and I had to, you know I did react to that real fast because that's not on. Um, so yeah, thank you for this uh, for watching this one. Um, um, hopefully. You know, I help. You know, you got um, you learn something from this, and hopefully, it helps you um, stop people from blocking your opinion, blocking your posts, and blocking your videos that you want to do. Uh, and like I said, uh, hey, Carl, thanks for watching, brother. Um, you know, 
it, it's 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 really hard when you're trying to actually talk to really amazing people in your community, and someone sits there and starts blocking your uh, comments or comes on board and starts writing rubbish things that's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. And the cool thing is tonight, in about another ten minutes, I have an amazing, amazing local uh, gallery owner who I've talked to on radio before, who I talk to every other week when I get to meet. I haven't seen her for the last six weeks, uh, but we just drop in, you know, and that's. Um, We'll talk more about that. Hopefully, we'll have Jared um, as a co-host talking about the economy as well with her, uh, because she's a small business owner and she helps a lot of um, people get their artwork out, get sold. And she's just been amazing. I've been watching her on Instagram, just doing some posts with artists, um, and they're making the videos, just promoting themselves. And I think this is the last four weeks, uh, or the last two weeks has been hard uh, because it's just yeah, there's so did so much work. But the last four weeks prior to that, like the month of um, April. We had such amazing people come on and do live streams with me. Uh, I've reached out some more to some more people to talk about um, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, we're going to be talking about website um, website developers, uh, game developers. Uh, we're going to be looking at working with Horn, uh, local um, 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 so what's this um, live streaming uh, panel thing? Um, a local person's created there, um, and I'm Lawrence, and I'm just I had a chat with them the other night uh, about using that, and it's just our community is full of so many amazing people that we don't get to see, and the reason I do these live streams is so that you can see, as a local person or as an international person from around the world watching, that yes, Fungray has a lot to offer. In the arts, in the web, uh, in the social media and digital media, technology, and all that, as well as everything else that we have to offer in Fungray. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Malfunction. Thank you for joining us. And if you're watching this on uh, Facebook, um, sorry, on um, YouTube, please subscribe. Um, I'm up to about 60, I think, or somewhere close to that. I would like to get to 100, get to more and more and more, and you know, develop what we're doing here. And hopefully, we get a great video out every week. Uh, we're talking with amazing people in our community because. Hey, the more we get to know who they are, the more we can um, either, you know, per become friends with them or actually uh, so accustom their business, you know, go out there and buy some of the stuff that's available. Um, so you've noticed, you know, you've seen, I talk to a lot of different people and I love that because I think, like I said, it makes me um, get a bit more knowledgeable uh, by knowing a lot more people. And actually, uh, as we head into um, working on Plunge, you know, it's just going to be, um, it's going to be more interesting, and I just I'm so excited for what we have for the next six months coming up, uh, and hopefully that you'll you'll be joining us, and that you'll also come and um, you know hang out with us at Plunge when we have that start up again. Kakitiano, see you. Have fun, guys. Enjoy yourself and keep safe.